Now another story about students. Somerville City officials estimate there are some 80 homeless youth currently in the school system from pre-kindergarten through high school. Reporter Yu Xiao Yun wanted to know more, so she started with Regina Bartoldo, director of the Parent Information Center. A homeless student is a student who lacks regular, um, stable, adequate living condition, which can be a park, could be the streets, could be inside of a car, um, could be an emergency room. If they are in shelters, hotels and motels, they are confined to one room. They come to school very tired. Even if they are living locally, they come to school tired because it's, it's a lot of um, adult movement in the house during the night and you know they don't have their room. They, they sharing a bedroom with other people and uh, kids just don't get the right amount of sleep that they deserve to have. In Somerville, we have a strong commitment and to these children uh, to keep them in the school and while in the school to give all the support that they need. Because a homeless student, we have the same expectation for a homeless student as we have for any uh, other student. While most homeless youth are with their families at a shelter or motel, some are on their own for one reason or another. Even if they have a place to stay, they're classified as homeless. Jason Souza from Youth Harbors works with those high school students. He introduced Yu Xiao to Lorena. My name is Lorena. I'm from Dominican. I came here like two years ago. First, I was living with my sister. Then I was living with my mom. Now I'm living alone. It's a house, but I share with other people. Well, I prefer to live with my mom, of course. It's more easy, but I don't, I can't. She had her life. It's, it's different. I can't. You know, in this specific case, um, overcrowding in the family happens when there are many individuals living inside of the household. Uh, there might be a mother, there might be her boyfriend, a sibling involved, and then you have a high school student who is in that mix and who is looking for their own privacy. So what happens is that there's you know, a lot of friction that happens within the house. There's arguments, um, people are trying to live their own lives, trying to accomplish their own goals, and because all of this, um, things become so heated to the point where either the parent or the child feels like it's not safe for them to live and coexist in the same space anymore and that often leads to the students um, becoming independent trying to find their own space and you know starting to begin their own adult lives working paying rent for themselves paying utilities and really trying to become independent and self-sufficient so today today we're going to be growing beans in the after school I had to work afternoon I'm working in the projects it's like a daycare to see or 8 p.m., then I go home to do my homework, something in home. I go to sleep. I wake up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. In the morning, I work in cleaning a restaurant. And after my job in the morning, I come to school. What happened? Come on. In some cases, it is better um, for the child to be out on their own if sometimes if the parent is experiencing drug abuse or has uh, legal issues going on and sometimes if it's appropriate for the student to live out on their own to become self-sufficient um, to find an employment to become responsible then that's something that we definitely promote and something that we try to help them achieve Red life. one of the things that youth harbors can offer is a program is providing financial assistance to students who are in uh, you know classified as being homeless unaccompanied youth hopefully uh, help the student minimize the hours that they're working and try to focus more on school because as a program Youth Harbors is in general uh, if a student, high school student, is working 30 to 40 hours a week it's very difficult for them to complete their homework assignments, to get enough rest to be productive in school. It's hard. Sometimes I'm, I'm, in, I'm in class and I want to sleep and tidy. It's hard but it's, it's my yacht, it's, my, it's something that happened in the life.
The Mass Department of Elementary and Secondary Education says that almost 9,500 high school age students in public schools are experiencing homelessness on any given day. To learn more about homelessness, check out mahomeless.org. And you can learn more about Youth Harbors at rediscoveryinc.org slash youthharbors.